JJE Enterprises presents Hello guys, Jan Justine here. Today it's Halloween month. And now, I have six shorts for October. Let's for the first one. 2BCH's Nightmare. <sighs> Gosh. I'm going to sleep. What's happening to me? <laughs> Duty Beaver, I'm going to inflate your belly. Let me out of here, you creep! Stop right there, Lucio. You are not going to do an inflation fetish on Duty. Well, Mr. Victor Daniel approves me about this girl dying. Jazzy! Help me! Well, goodbye, Chubby Beaver. No! Please do not inflate me! That's it. It's time for me to use it. <sighs> oh, Fred. Thank you for saving me from that inflator guy. You're welcome. Now, give me your soul. No! Are you alright, bestie? Do I look like I'm alright? Cause I'm not. Oh dear, did you have a nightmare? Yes. <laughs> ah, poor 2DCH. Time to give her a glass of chocolate milk to make her feel better. I agree, Mariana. So, let's calm her down. Man, I don't care about the inflation video out of 2DCH by Victor. Anyways, here's the second short called My Friend, Reform Betty. This is so exciting for this Halloween. I'll go to buy all the Halloween stuff. Hello there. Oh frick, it's Betty McLean. Whoa, calm down. I'm not the Betty McLean you are thinking about. I'm the Betty McLean from Kalia's universe. Thang, because Cedric wants to warn about my videos. Come on little boy, I want you to be my best friend. No. Stay away from me. Cedric left the LBC so he clearly doesn't care. So come on, Jan Justine. Let's be friends. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Pretty please? I said no. No. Um, what's going on here? What just happened here? My darling, Jan and Reformed Betty are arguing. Because Jan does not want to be the best friend. No, this girl has been seen on Dave's LT Parodies episode. She's evil. I told you. I'm the Betty McLean from Kalia's universe. I told you. That's a violation of the seven stars. Well, this is one of those days. <sighs> what a surprise. Anyways, the third short will be a little less scary. Gabby's Costume Party. Featuring Gabby and her Gabby cat friends along with Ayrton and his gang. Oh boy. Today is my costume party. Time to see what the other Gabby cats are wearing for this Halloween. I agree, Gabby. All right. I'm ready. I'm super ready for what your cat friends wear, Gabby. Me too, girls. All right then, let's see what you're wearing. The first contestant is... Cakey. Hi guys, I decided to be a ghost this Halloween. What do you guys think? Wow. So nice. I will give you 9 out of 10. Very good costume, Cakey. I agree, mate. Next contestant is Cat Rat. I decided to dress up as the Prince of Darkness this Halloween. What do you think? Good. Prince of Darkness from Satan's Kingdom? Of course. Don't tell me if he's summoned. I'll give you an 8 out of 10. Next is Meerkat. Meerkat. Wait, the cat has a mermaid tail. That's just my everyday appearance, silly. Anyways, I'm a witch. But this character can't swim without water. Actually, not only I can swim in the water, but I can levitate, just like in the show. Oh my god! Ah, uh, 
Okay. But, I give you a 9 out of 10. I think Wario dies in the fourth wall explosion, anyway. Next. Hey there, I just bought myself another hoodie that is black and orange for Halloween. Very good. 10 out of 10. Costumes of the year. He's wearing a hoodie. Next. Calm down, hoodie. Sorry. Next. Check this costume out. My mom helped me make it. And I made one for myself too. What's your costume anyway? I'm a zombie and my mom is a robot. Very good. Both are 8 out of 10 for you. Next. I dressed up as Angela the Angel. What do you think? Good. You live in God's country. The cat rat lives in Satan's kingdom. We, we are, are not. not. These, These are, are just costumes. costumes. <sighs> I see, kitty. Next time. Call me by my full name because I don't want to be confused by Kitty or Natalie Hawks. Leave me out of this, Kitty Fairy. Ahem, <clears throat> Kitty Fairy, I'll give you a 9 out of 10. That's a great costume you got there, Kitty Fairy. Thanks, Your Honor. Next contestant. I may have gotten myself wrapped up in toilet paper, only to realize this made me look like a mummy. What do you think? Well, I'll give you a thumbs up to me! 10 out of 10. Next. Hi everyone, I'm a werewolf for this Halloween. This character is a vehicle. Why is she in the studio? I'm smaller than the average size of a normal car, so yeah. That explains it. A car dressed as a werewolf. Wow. Spectacular. I agree. 10 out of 10 for her. And that was our last contestant. Now let's celebrate with some party food. You said it, Erdan. Now, this is a cosplay competition in third short. Anyways, this next short is called The Ghost of Miss Emma Jenny. So Jenny, are you trying to scare me into being a ghost? I agree, Miss M. First, grab a flower. How to use flower. And put it down in my head. And then? Cut it, and drop the flower. Like this? <coughs> Look at me, I'm a white Miss Madsen. Ha ha, you scare me. Come on, let's go and scare them. Stephanie, did you see Miss Emma Jenny? I don't know. Stephanie, where are your brothers? You mean Ben and Corey? They both got eliminated from all universes because of some not suitable for work stuff which I cannot explain right now. Hey, who turned out the lights? It wasn't me, bestie. Guess who am I? We're ghosts of me and Miss M. <laughs> Stephanie, are you okay? <laughs> I'm scared. Mama. Who's Stephanie Mama? Rachel. Stephanie, are you scared? Why are you and Jenny White? Well, I and Jenny are trying to scare the people using the flower. You both tricked me. That was a little too far. Well, I'm taking a dump right now. Okay, why are Miss Emma and Jenny becoming a ghost to scare all the people? The fifth short is called, Small, Median, Large Lady featuring Shibio Sandos G. What is this? Growth potion? I wonder if I could taste this. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm drinking. Don't drink that. What? Because do not drink that potion. Hey, look. Where? I can't see any. Chibi Usa. Oops, sorry. What's happened to drinking my growth potion for my science project? Because Chibi Usa is drinking your potion. What? Is she drinking my potion? Hello there, how do you like my height? Chibi Usa, what the heck are you doing here? Did you drink my growth potion for my science project? Yes, I'm 8 feet tall. Whoa. Now that's what she called. Medium lady. 
Medium lady? Shut up. Let me think. Since Chibi Usa has the same height as Yusagi. Mina. Well, I really wish I had become an adult. Medium lady? More like large lady. <laughs> Well, she's jinxed it. Why me, Nako? Now that's what I call large lady. <laughs> What's next? Extra large lady? Princess Yusagi extra large lady serenity. Ha 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 ha. Wow, I'm a giant right now. Wow, now looks like Chibiosa calling her large lady or tiny lady. Now not to be the least. The last short is called, Night of the Living Marianas. Hello guys, I'm Nico6903. And I'm gonna read you a book called, The Night of the Living Marianas. So, are you ready for me to read it? You do? Well, good. So, let's get into it! The Night of the Living Marianas <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a pink star girl named Miss M, who is having a good day today, and she said, Ah, uh, what a lovely day out here. I think I should go outside and walk. So, Miss M will go outside and walk around the block. And she met her twin sis, Jenny Madsen. And she said, Hello, Miss M. Can I walk with you? Of course, said Miss M. You can come along with me. So, they went out on a walk together before the sun went down. But one night, technical Mariana came here to say hi to Miss M and Jenny. Hello, Miss M and Jenny. She said. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Same to you, said Jenny. And the most shocking thing about Mariana is her clones. She cloned herself with a double cherry from Super Mario Brothers. Hello, Miss M and Jenny. Do you want to eat your rotten flesh? Suddenly... Miss Sam and Jenny look so terrified and scared. They shake and feared and said, Jenny, we are so scared. I know, Miss Sam. Come on, we want to eat your flesh. So Miss Sam and Jenny run for their lives away from the Mariana clones because they think they were zombie versions of Mariana herself. Jenny, are you sure you're trying to eat their bodies? Yeah, that's a lot of her. We want to eat your flesh. But along the way, Luna Scarleton came in here to tell Miss M and Jenny what's wrong. What's going on here? Technical Mariana clones are trying to eat us. They are more like zombie clones. So, Scarleton said, Are you sure when looking at all the zombies in this town? And they shake their heads for yes. So, what do you think happens then? Yes. Scarleton points a slipper at the Mariana clones and says, I will send you to Jesus, Mariana zombies. I want to eat your flesh. So, Scarleton threw the slipper at the Mariana clones, which knocked them down. And now, Ashley came in and zap these Mariana clones down, and all of the zombies are gone. Phew, that was a relief. Miss M said, Those Mariana clones are gone. Jenny said with a smile. Scarlton, look behind you. There's technical Mariana. Where? But then, Scarlton turned back, and then something bad happened, and it's kind of freaky. Oh, shit, no! Scarlton. Ashley noticed she forgot one more clone. So I came in here and said, All right, technical Mariana zombie, I will stab you with a knife. I want to eat Scarlton's flesh. Are you kidding me? 
But then, I stab the undead Mariana for what she's trying to do, and I kicked her out of the house and saved Scarleton! Thank goodness, we're safe now. Yeah, Miss M. Because these Mariana clones are trying to invade us. Just then, me and the girls are getting their weapons ready and taking down the Mariana clones. And after that, I know who made those Mariana zombies. It was Evil Dave. Well, well, well. You may have destroyed my Mariana zombie army, but you can't destroy me. Then, Miss Sam got angry and said, So, Evil Dave, I knew you would make those Mariana zombies. That's right. I made those Mariana zombies with the undead cloning machine, and I've captured Mariana, but you'll have to go through me before you can save her. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to zap you, Evil Dave. So, Jenny is using her arctic beam to zap Evil Dave. And after Evil Dave was defeated, she rescued Mariana from Evil Dave's undead clone machine. Thank you, Miss M and Jenny. She said, and they said, You're, You're welcome. welcome. And so, with Evil Dave defeated, and the Mariana zombie clones defeated, now that's for the end of the story today. The end. Yay, Nico. We love happy endings. I'm glad you liked it, Miss Sam and Jenny. I want to eat your brains. Not this time, Mariana clones. Hey, you destroyed my clones. Anyways, guys, that is all for today. Bye-bye, guys. Gosh, this is the weirdest story I've ever seen when the real technical Mariana is here in the sixth short. Anyway, now that's for the six stories for Halloween video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. I want to hug you. No. Go sphincter. This has been a JJE Enterprises production.